Dick Sapernetti, your son Michael called you the smartest man alive. He went on to say that you were not only the smartest man alive, but you are the smartest man who ever lived. You have some pretty radical theories. And if your theories are true, then Einstein and Newton have to be wrong. So tell us, why are you right and why are they wrong? Well, I'm going to show you. But first, before we get off on that, I think I showed you this before. This is 1949. This was, was 30 years later. That's what set me off trying to be audacious, okay? And then, you come over here. I don't want you to think time just popped in my head. Here's a four-page dissertation on time what it is, how it acts, how it moves through space, you see? And what was the year that you wrote that book? 1949, when I was 16, I had it typed up when I was about 25. So time, you will see, the people that watch us will have to determine who's right and who's wrong. The first thing we'll do is discuss time. How, how did time come about? What is time? Time to human beings is what is, to dis what is the duration between two points. How fast was the 100 from the start? What is the, from here to California? These are all measuring times, but time is not measurable. It's not, time is what all the time that we've ever had, we created, and it's not true. Nature is time, and when I'm done showing what I'm talking about, then you maybe understand. First of all, time, there's only three dimensions in the universe, not 12, not 5, not, not even 4. They say there's three dimensions plus time. No. Time is the essence of the three. And all the essence of the three is the duration of the present. Every point, every, every, the universe is made up of time points, time particles. Everywhere. There's no space. Everything is made of time particles. Be like you're a fish made out of water, I'm a fish made out of water. What's between us? Water. Water. Well, we can't see it. So there's no space between me and you. We're all made out of the same thing. We're all made out of time particles. Einstein, for example, how he did it, he's a smart guy, right, Albert? He was sitting on a train in Switzerland. I was on the same train. A little different time. I'm looking, I'm going this way, I'm going, following the train backwards, and I'm looking at a clock. The clock says 12 o'clock. Now, if I move, the light that comes toward me slows down. If I move the speed of light, time stops. Time is nothing. To me, it's stupid. But we'll show you in his equation, if you go get a book about Einstein, this is what he'll show you. 